Hey guys, it's Giridhar here and here here to watch the unboxing of Dazen X7. So this is a brand new device from the house of Coolpad. If you're not familiar with Coolpad, Coolpad is a big smartphone manufacturer in China and now they have entered the Indian high seas and uh, they are here to sell their uh, Dazen brand of mobiles and uh, we have two mobiles from their house which is the Dazen X7 and the Dazen 1. Uh, to check out the link below for the unboxing video of the Dazen 1. So Dazen X7 is a very very thin and light device. It just uh, it is just 6.5 mm thin and it is very light at 131 grams. So I am excited to unbox it and I am sure you are excited as well. So let me go ahead and unbox it for you. Okay, so it says Coolpad X7 and at the back we have some information which says that this device is capable of uh, LTE bands in India and also it is priced at Rs. 17,999. This device will be available exclusively through a snap deal and starting from June 9th you will be able to purchase the cool pad devices and snap it so there it is the cool pad x7 okay this is the way it is very slim we briefly had a chance to play around with the device at the launch event in bangalore and now i have the device in my hand so I, I, it has a good feel to it it's a unibody design with a uh, glass at the back and the front so both the glass are protected by corning gorilla glass 3 and at the sides you have the aluminium anodized aluminium metal all around uh, the mobile and at the bottom you have the speaker grill they appear to be a dual speaker grill but it isn't it's a single uh, grill here you can see that one, only one is for a speaker another one is for mic and at the bottom you have the usb slot at the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack at the right you have uh, the power button and at the left you have the volume buttons and also you have the hybrid uh, sim card trays so one of the sim card can also act as a micro sd card slot here the sim card slot one is a hybrid slot here so you can insert both a nano sim nano sim goes vertically here alternatively you can also put in an sd card like this so let me try and fit an sd card here yeah it fits perfectly there and i can put it inside the mobile it uh, fits in perfectly and let me pull out the other sim tray and the other sim tray is a normal micro sim tray the power button has a good tactile feedback and it can be easily felt with a thumb and also uh, the device is pretty neat thin and it kind of very comfortable to hold in the hands uh, the metal edges are not too sharp and uh, it, it has a good feel to it and uh, it doesn't feel flimsy as so at the back of the device is the 13 megapixel sensor mm -hmm. and uh, also we have a dual tone led flash here and as i said the back is also glass and the front is also glass both the glass or corning gorilla glass tree protector and uh, interestingly in this device you would see that out of the box there is no uh, kind of plastic uh, st sticker protection for the front but they have a protection protective sticker at the back. This device has got a 16 GB of internal memory and a 2 GB of RAM. It is powered by a MediaTek processor, an octa-core MediaTek processor. Four cores are clocked at 2 GHz and the remaining four cores are clocked at 1.5 GHz. The display is a 5.2 inch display and it is a full HD 1080 by 920p display. So let me power up the device. So while it is powering up, let's inspect the contents of the box. Amen. 
the box itself appears to be of good quality and we have a space filler here nothing much here and uh, there is another small mini box inside the box so we have the uh, usb card and also from the other end probably i'll be able to pull out the wall unit charger which is a two pin wall unit charger and again this one is a one ampere charger it's not a fast charger and uh, let's talk about the mobile setting up and running the cool pad devices has seemed to be very fast compared to other devices and the ui is the cool pad cool ui the, i think they call it the cool ui and it is very similar to mi ui let's go to the settings and uh, see more about the device okay so it's got 2 gb of ram and uh, 16 gb of memory of which 11.53 gb is available to the user it's a full hd screen and is running on android 4.4.2 uh, it will be updated to android 5.0 and not 4.4.4 directly you can upgrade to uh, android 5.0 and uh, we have on screen menu here and i feel that the bezels are pretty thick at the bottom and the top and on the at the sides it's pretty normal and uh, they could have reduced the bezels at the top and the bottom and it will give a good feel to the device. Okay. So even the on-screen menus can be dismissed uh, with a gesture like this. That gives uh, uh, much more screen, screen real estate for you. But sometimes it could pose a little bit of inconvenience especially when you want something to be done instantly okay the ui seems to be fast and snappy and uh, i'm yet to explore this device i just caught it in my hand and uh, i am currently playing with this device for another week or so and uh, this device goes on sale by june 9th in snap deal and is priced at 17,999. and i promise you that before june 9th i'll be posting a review of this device at gadgetdetail.com until then this is kiri there signing off thanks for watching the video